We all bass fish. We all have been out here, you know, from daylight to dark, especially around tournaments, all that type of stuff. And there's one thing that's undeniable. There's always a midday lull. Always. I don't care if it's super hot or if it's super cold. You still can get a couple bites as soon as the sun comes up. And then it seems like they don't really get into another good feeding window until 11, 12 o'clock in the day. It always, for me, has been super tough between like 8 o'clock and 11 o'clock to really get any bites. And for me, it's one of those things where I like to try everything I can to stay productive whenever I can. We're fishing a lake that's got a lot of current in it. That's usually the time of day where I'm going to be in the current no matter what. If we're fishing a lake that's got, you know, brush piles or whatever, and you're in a rotation, well, those times of day, that's when I'm going to be at the absolute best ones because I want to make sure I'm still getting some bites. And it's not going to be the only time I hit it. If I've got the best possible, like my best place, I'm going to try to hit it first thing in the morning. And if I don't get a bite off of it or get a couple off of it, and then I don't catch anything for two or three hours, you know, running around, I'm coming back to my best place whenever I feel like there's another feeding window late in the day. But what do you do during the midday lull? It's hard to stay productive. It's hard to keep getting bites. And a lot of times, whenever you do get bites in the middle of the day, that, well, the late in the day feeding times whenever I catch most of my big ones. No doubt, 11 plus, 11 to 2.30, it's when I catch most of my big ones. That midday lull is hard to get a bite, but I have caught a lot of big ones whenever I hadn't had a bite in two hours and the next bite's a big one. It's also very difficult to keep your focus, keep your confidence when you haven't had a bite in a couple hours. If y'all have watched me for a long time, or if y'all watched almost any of my videos, y'all know that I run around a lot, I jump around a lot, I'm always doing something different constantly. I'll be skipping a fro, fro frog under a bush, and then I'll be throwing a wacky rig under a dock, and then I'll be throwing a brush pile, and then I might pull up on a rock pile. I just, that, that's just the way that I've always fished. I move around a lot, I fish a lot of different stuff. It's very difficult to maintain confidence going through that midday lull into that last little bit of a feeding window is very tough because whenever you know it's the best time of day, just say we've been flipping boat docks. And I've been flipping boat docks for three hours. Well, it's hard to want to go say, well, now it's 11.30, they're probably going to be biting on boat docks, so I need to go do it for another three hours. That's a difficult thing to say whenever you haven't had bites in a while. So understanding you're not getting a lot of bites whenever you're in that that lull period. And it's different on every single lake. It's different different times of year, you know, all that type of stuff, but it's undeniable to me. So what I do is, here's a perfect example. We was fishing today around that time and fun fishing. And I got a dang Envy spin rod and a dang 10 pound test leader and a wacky rig. That's Gamakatsu G Finesse hook that's the uh aaron martin's drop shot one i like that one a lot for the wacky rig but anyways uh, that's just to prove a point i was out here fun fishing today nothing else and i got a dang wacky rig laying on the front deck because when it gets in that time period of the day you have to get some bites whatever it takes downsizing your line downsizing your leader making longer casts changing your rotation we've got lakes around here where we've got largemouth and we've got a lot of spotted bass and the spotted bass are way easier to get them to bite when you're in that midday lull, it may be the best thing to do is go fish for spots for a few hours. Make sure you're going to get some bites, because when you fish for spots, you're going to get some bites. They may not be three pounders, but just make sure you're still getting some bites. So that's what I like to do a lot is make sure I'm in a good area where I know there's fish around. Make sure I do whatever I can to make it play in my favor. If that is running the wind, getting in a little bit more stained water, getting in some current, whatever it takes, that's what I'm going to do. Got a squirrel sneaking up on me. It sounded big though. It sounded like it weighed about 150 pounds then I walked through the woods. I turned around as a little squirrel. But that's called big eye on them. Or big big ear in them, actually. But that that's just kind of my tips and how I attack the midday lull. I've experienced it everywhere in the country. And a lot of times Hunter says if I've got two or three fish for eleven o'clock, I'm having a good day already. And I get it. So sometimes I, I do not catch anything until the last couple hours of the tournament. But that's because there's that late day feeding window and if you don't start in a good spot and be on some of the best stuff all day long you're really not going to catch many so remember that type of stuff maybe move out a little bit deeper fish a little bit slower and fish your best stuff at the worst time of day just make sure you stay productive i'm not saying that's the only time you should fish it but make sure you're on some really good stuff in that time of day so that's what i do that's how, how i attack the midday lull how do you know that you're in a lull and you don't just have the <clears> wrong <throat> bait on or you're not fishing the wrong bait well, I mean, if you've got a bait you've got confidence in, it's the right bait. 
that's the way I feel about everything. Everything I've got laid on the front deck, it, they're the right baits. They're baits that bass bite, you know, all the time. They're baits I have a lot of confidence in. I know I'm gonna get some bites on them. And that's, that's just what I'm going to throw is the baits that I have a lot of confidence in. So if you've got a lot of confidence in your bait and you're putting it in some good areas, you know you're gonna be in that low. I just know that, to, to me, that low happens almost every single day. Like, you gotta really be catching them you know to catch them in that period for me that's just my my personal experience some people out there might say i don't catch anything before eight and i don't catch nothing after 11. me and you need to be team partners i'm gonna go ahead and tell you right now me and you need to jump in the boat together and fish the biggest team tournaments around because if you catch it from eight to 11 we gonna win some stuff because i cannot but that's just how it's always been for me from i remember being 15 16 years old fishing with a good buddy of mine and he would tell me you know we're in that lull again that we always get in and it'd be from 9 to 11 or 12 and we would or 8 to 11 or 12 and we wouldn't hardly get a bite in that time frame and we'd be doing the same you know we'd catch a limit and be culling in the morning and then keep doing the same stuff try to start adjusting a little bit and just couldn't get a bite couldn't get a bite then all of a sudden bam you catch one by 11 30. then you start back catching them again you got two good flurries but it's just to me it's always been that lull if you're on a phenomenal lake like you know where we were on Lake Fork and I caught some in the middle of the day, but there's so many bass in that lake. And you know, if you're on a good lake, like we were on Pickwick last year in March, you're catching them all day, but there's so much current. Whenever you get around them, they have to bite. But for the most part, it's a little bit tougher to catch them in that midday period. That's my opinion. Anyways, we seen that ledge fishing on Pickwick. People got out to early starts, you know, first thing in the morning. Then it would get real slow and they'd catch some big ones late in the day. That's just kind of how it goes every time I'm fishing these tournaments. That's just how it feels for me. And whenever you're fun fishing, you know, you don't have to be out there during that. You can get out here, you know, at 12, but it's super hot right now at 12. But that's when you catch some of the dang biggest fish. Like legit, that's when you catch some of the biggest fish is in the middle of the day when it's super hot. And I'm talking about shallow too. That's whenever I catch some of the biggest ones. So do you think bass eat all day or do you think they do like breakfast, lunch? Because... Your feeding windows kind of sound like a breakfast and lunch deal. That's how it feels. It feels like it's a breakfast, lunch, and they don't really bite that good in the early evening, and they bite good at dark. So it seems like from like 11 to 2, they bite. They don't really bite that good from about 3 to 5 or 6, and they bite really good from 6 to dark. That, that's just how it is in the summer. In the winter, it gets progressively better all day. There's a little bit of a morning bite, and then it gets like, it gets tough when the sun gets up and then it gets progressively better as the sun's on the water for the longest so you know 12 1 2 3 4 5 until that sun starts going down that's when you catch them the best in the winter but in the summer it definitely seems like there's a, obviously a morning bite lull e midday lull and then the evening bite so that's just my experience that's just you know how it always has felt for me and that's what i say i didn't read this in a magazine or anywhere this is just how it feels when i'm out here fishing I'm curious, do you think bass eat just all day? Like, do you think they eat till they're full, or do you think they just constantly are eating? Like, you know how cows just are constantly eating? Yeah, well, they, they're chewing on something, on, you know, they call it chewing on their yeah. cud or whatever. But I think that bass are opportunity eaters. I feel like when they get around something that's vulnerable, they eat. And they have triggers inside them that they know whenever something's easier to catch than average. So that's why you know, like a wounded bait fish triggers a bass because they know it's going to be easy to catch. It's a really good opportunity for them to go ahead and get an easy meal. I feel like bass are opportunists, I guess you'd say, and they, that's why they get triggered by certain things and not other things. It's because they know when something's an easy prey and then they're going to eat it. So, so do you think that's how they always eat or do you think no. sometimes they're hungry and they go looking for it? Sometimes they're hungry and they're feeding. Like whenever you see them schooling, busting on balls of shad, they're, they're trying, they're hunting them down, you know. But that's usually in one of the feeding windows. They don't usually do that, you know, in the middle of the day or, some, or you know, early mid-morning. They don't really do that a whole lot. That's normally during one of the good feeding windows whenever they come to school and stuff like that. But that's whenever they're, they're chasing healthy shad is whenever they're up schooling. Other than that, I feel like you really need to do something to show them, to, to trigger them, which means imitate something that's injured in an easy meal for them. That's all my questions. All hunters' questions. All right. Uh, let me know below if y'all don't have a, fee, uh, a midday lull, and let me know what y'all do to attack it. Because I've had some tournaments where there's been some two or three hour periods where I didn't put nothing in the boat that was very valuable. So if y'all have me give me a tip on that, what do y'all do whenever you're in a midday lull? Because for me, I just try to grind it out, try to get one or two bites during that time period. What are your top three lull baits? Showed you one. This. And flipping, which I've got a flipping rod right here. Let me see it. I got a jig, flip a jig a lot in that midday lull. 
because I, I want to stay productive but if I catch a limit early I still don't want to fish you know baits that are going to catch small bass I still want to try to get a big bite like I said I've caught some really big ones and I feel like when that sun gets up it kind of places those fish in places where you can be more high percentage even though they're not super aggressive you can keep putting it in front of them so a jig's a really good way to go and also I flipped that 13 fishing invader which is right here I like flipping I like throwing the wacky rig if I'm fishing offshore, it's going to be the time to drag a shaky head, drop shot, whatever it may be. But that's kind of how I attack the midday lull. Appreciate you guys watching. Let me know what y'all do.